So, we have a purple LSD Hulk, we have a brain crush from the Hulk, we have a freaking brain explosion, and we have our main villain getting away from our main male character for some stupid reason. So, anyways, I want to tell you, I enjoyed this episode. This episode was good, it had some form of feels, but there's a lot of problems with this episode that could have been taken differently. I'm not going to tell you that this episode was bad, but there was ways the writing could have done better. So, let's get into that aspect. Okay, the ending. The ending when you get to see Taka's head just explode and blood goes everywhere, you get to see Moral Cry and say I'll save you I'll end it all and just you see the blood and gore that was unexpected amount of gore and violence I did not expect in Hamatora so props to the animation studio I think they did a good job on that scene the animation quality was beautiful I think the music was great but that entire ending could have been avoided let me tell you why now yes if we take in the different aspects of the episode we get to see how Moral tied a string around the bartender's throat and about to take her head off when he moved his finger but nice brought Moral into that that bar so nice could have easily attacked moral before he ever did something like that so really that entire section right there could have been avoided so nice should have been able to deal with moral before anything started and it seemed like nice was kind of on moral side the entire time of the riot so it kind of bugged me a little bit it really did i can see what they tried to do they tried to show that moral is kind of like nice but at the same time i don't feel like the flow of the character development really worked right there because that really just you know i guess takes down the ending scene a lot because if people really look at the series like strong you can see that that ending should have been avoidable. We also had girls and panzers this episode. We had a girl controlling a freaking tank and was about to blow down Taka's mom, which is pretty shocking, I will tell you. But, I mean, that woman had it coming. I mean, she's scared of her own damn child, terrifying like a monster, and then she's calling all minimum holders out like they're bad and evil and they need to go away from society. So, of course, you know, someone would want to kill her by now. I'm surprised she wasn't killed a couple episodes back. So, really, this entire scene was to be expected, I'm gonna say. I feel like the animation quality and some scenes were kind of lacking, but there was some good animation in this episode all around. I did like the serious facial expressions. Really, the plot seems to be picking up in Hamatora. It's a lot better than it was in the middle section. I'm not going to deny that one. I really love the way these series is going so far. I just feel like there's a lot of contradictions that could have easily been better with the writing. I don't know if the actual writer intended for it to be like this, or if the animation studio that's currently adapting Hamatora is not realizing that they might be messing up the story. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if it's following the manga correctly, if there is a manga. But so far, I feel like this is one of the better episodes. It really is. And they really didn't reveal if Art was still alive or not. Let me get into the fact of that. You all know how I feel about Art. In the comment section from the last review, people stated that they want a zombified Art. They want to see Art controlled by moral walking around and pretty much being used as a puppet. What's my actual opinion on this matter? Really, I feel like it'd be a good idea to bring back Art if Art is going to be back, which it's pretty much obvious that Art is alive in some form or fashion. I guess being a zombified art that's technically dead but has to be put down by nice would add that, I guess, emotional factor to the entire scene. It would be a lot better than just bringing art back for bullshit reasons. So, I, I agree. I, I agree I would like to see art being controlled by, you know, moral as a puppet. Now, really, at the in middle of this episode, we get to see how the girl, the super hacker, that is probably watching over art's body we saw last episode right at the end, pretty much... Yeah, pours two cups of coffee and is offering it to someone. She is definitely talking to someone. So it's already to our assumption she's talking to Art. So we don't know exactly what state of condition Art is in. We don't know if his face has been removed. We don't even know how Moral actually gets other people's faces. How he uses his powers. I mean, he used the other detective that was working underneath Art the entire time. I, I don't think necessarily Moral has to kill someone to be able to use their face. There's probably some other requirements to be able to use that type of power. So anyways, did I enjoy this episode of Hamator? For a small factor if I turn off my brain, yes. I, I did enjoy this episode. It was good. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it definitely was an enjoyable episode, better than Cucumber Sword Fighting, so I feel like this was a positive direction for Hamatora. If it continues these type of episodes, okay, and it tries to work on the writing a little bit, if it has a good, well-decent, road-out plot at the end, I will feel like Hamator might stand a chance with a good ending. I don't know, though. It, it could easily go downhill very easily, so it really all depends how it's adapted and how the pacing of the episode is. So tell me your opinions on this episode, everybody. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Did you see that ending scene? How could it easily have been avoided? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live, and everybody love you so much. TV out.